This is King Erna coming to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, go to King Erna official page. Follow me right now. Hit the like and share button here. Make sure you share this honorable conversation. And I want for individuals to have pure understanding. OTF Jam has gotten himself in a jam and figured out how to bring everybody else in the jam. And this is what you call weak mills and. You see, when you have people who sought out to get under individuals. I always hated that type of thing. The attention thing. Like just because a person statue, they views, or they likes, or they cash, or they materialistic thing is up here, people try to get under there and get underneath of them. And for the youngest, I want y'all to really tune in. I want your family. I want everybody to come forth and really listen to what I got to say because I don't want to see none of y'all make this mistake. Number one, I want for everybody to have understanding Get a job. Get a job and let that job fund your what? Your business. That's what Dame Dash forgot to tell everybody. Get a job and make sure that job funds your business. Then once they get the rolling, keep the job in the till suck. It's extra cash. Figure out a way how to get them taxes out of the way where you don't pay them. There are ways for you to get you know, your taxes out of the way, but that's another story. I want for individuals to start tapping into a better mindset. Little Dirk at one time in the streets, a part of the streets, growing up in the streets, he made a very bad decision by thinking what? The shooter, the killer, the fake friend who going out his way, acting like he a gangster, and he sorted him out and said, you know what? I'm going to have him a part of my team, and I don't want no nothing illegal around me, though. You can't trust these guys because guess what? Sometimes it's in them. And sometimes they don't have the billions. So they want to continue to go in like, you know, the direction of the streets a little bit if they're not really making the money you're making. And what ends up happening is they get locked up. And a lot of them get locked up and be jealous. It's sad to say. People will get locked up and be like, you know what? I want to bring everybody in here with me. Many of reasons. Now, I'm hearing a lot of rumors that he reached out to Dirk, little Dirk for a lawyer, which I'm pretty sure is a lie. He probably wanted that excuse, act like he want probably the dream team. And he probably was like, I have this type of money to help you as a friend. Not in nothing negative. I don't have to be a part of nothing that you have going on negative to help you get a lawyer. And then once he talked about putting the dream team together, there is no Johnny Cochran. And he's talking about spending all these millions. And it's like, Sometime a person will say, I'll get, get you what I feel as though, you know, you're worth in reference to fighting for your life because I don't have nothing to do with that. But I am doing a good deed by getting you a lawyer. And as soon as he don't get the dream team, you know what happens. This guy carries it like a dishonorable kill son. He goes ahead and getting cuffed and stuff based off of lies. And only God knows what these lies could be. But I'm going to tell you one thing and I'm going to tell you this. Live and direct. Whatever those lies are, he's going to have to come and get in that box. Get in that stand. Now, what have we learned from Young Thug case? What have we learned? We have learned that none of these rappers that are quote unquote supposed to be gangsters are willing to get in that box because it's an embarrassment. They'll get in it and then they're going to start playing with the prosecution. The prosecution across the world has to begin to have a brain and have understanding that you can't take these guys that used to be the shoot them up bang bang killers and put them on the stand because you're going to get ate up. Why do y'all keep using y'all that thirsty to lock up successful black men that got it in a legal manner that y'all go this far to get guys that y'all know that's going to get in that stand, going to get in that box and get cold feet and start switching it all the way around back to the fact that this real Zat, little Will Zuddy, done the same thing. And when he done it, what happened? Turned the case upside down. So prosecution, I mean, are y'all that dumb or y'all that thirsty to go after these guys? Y'all got to stop going after individuals that y'all say, because let's say I'm on trial here, right? If I'm on trial and I get on the stand to help myself, they're going to say, because I have a past record, that I'm not credible. But, you know, y'all get the rats on the stand, and guess what the rats do? Become credible all of a sudden. How do they do that? How do they mix that up? I mean, an individual that is actually, actually 
a criminal like others is able to get on the stand and coerce a jury or coerce a judge to believe any of their story when at the end of the day, they're not trustworthy under their court of law. So where's the honor in this? I'm going to tell you what happens. All of a sudden, the jury and everybody, they persuade the whole, everybody. They persuade everybody. The, the prosecution, they persuade the judge. The judge will say, um, they just, they, they just, they, they, I, I'm just lost for words because I'm, while I'm talking, I'm trying to think back to the fact of why, are, why is a real Zats word golden on a stand when if you got a record, you're not even credible. And these guys be coming up there talking about, I shot the world up. And uh, everybody I shot in the world, uh, they just that and the third, they died. I watched them, I looked at them, and they were, I made sure they were dead. But so-and-so orchestrated it. Are you kidding me? You're supposed to believe this demonic, diabolical killer? But you won't believe a guy that had a, a, a theft case that's getting up there and testifying for his friend and saying, hey, my friend didn't do this crime. He was with me. You won't believe him. You won't believe him. You're going to say, oh, he has a record. This guy had a theft on his record. But the shooter can get up there and point out individuals and everybody believe them? Oh, my goodness. All I'm going to say is that the prosecution across the world, they aren't doing no job. They're not actually going into the books and doing their job if they, if they were. These real ass wouldn't have a chance to get on a stand nowhere across America. And they would remind the juror that these individuals are criminals. These individuals are people who do crime, whether they got a charge or not. They sit on that stand admitting to crimes that they've done. How can they be trustworthy? But O.T. Jeff Jam, you know, this kid, and I see a picture of him. He sold his honor for a McFurry and some McChickens and a dishonorable sandwich. I mean, why would you go for the dishonor here? I mean, here's the door of freedom. You know you didn't do anything. You're claiming that you didn't. Now, all of a sudden, you get to telling. Now, at the end of the day, you dishonorable real Zach, guess what's going to happen here? You're going to be looked at as what? The real Zach and the liar and the person that lose the case. Because if everybody else kept their mouth shut and they don't know, what makes them think that you are not the one? I think you're the one because you're the only one that got the story in your mouth. You're the only one that got all the answers. Everybody else going on vacations and you talking about people went on vacations to do this. They got text messages, this. You're just telling in order to get a little relief and some attention and you figure you're going to get some money like little Woody. Well, guess what? Little Woody is a, dis, a, a depressed hills or He's running around here giving out like, I'm sorry, thug. I messed your life up. Well, if you didn't tell, how did you mess his life up? You dishonorable kills I'm guzzling, mills at you. I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words in it all. But I just wanted to stop through and give y'all some pure understanding and make sure that individuals have a heart and say, how can we ever honor a OTF jam when he's putting lies on people to put them in a hell of a jam and he's a real zat. He's not credible in a civilian world. How can a real zat or anybody quote unquote as a civilian says be credible in anything they say in a, in a court of law, in a court of law, king on a live and direct.